name is Evgeny Rasta and I'm a certified open yoga teacher. Today I welcome you on the yoga mat. All the information will be available on the site yogaopenyoga.com and if you are watching us on the YouTube channel don't forget to subscribe because we'll have new upcoming videos for you to be interested in. So uh, this video will be on on your practice how to make the set of yoga poses for a yoga beginner and uh, what rules or concepts we should follow. So there are different parts of the yoga practice but in the very beginning the main thing is the beginning. Uh, how we prepare and we prepare coming on our yoga mat sitting down, closing our eyes and concentrating on ourselves. Taking few a nice breath in order to calm down and to switch to what we are going to do today. And you can take as much time as necessary, but now we will go on with the next exercises. <music> So, uh, when we are sitting down, uh, we can do many different poses and uh, we will do a forward bend. This would be, look like this, uh, down on your knees. Uh, you can uh, put your legs a little bit apart if it's more comfortable and you can go down. Uh, if it's too much for this moment, you can also have a good uh, forward bend just by rounding your spine. Backward bend would be nice if you just have straight back. Or also, you go down and have a nice crocodile position. Or go a little bit higher and have a nice cobra position. Very well. And you leave the position and rest a little bit. In between each yoga pose, you find a moment to rest. So it is turn for the standing poses. And there are two that we have to do. It's uh, uh, side bends and one for the balance. Let's start with the side bends. Uh, triangle pose, a very nice pose. Uh, feet wide, uh, hands parallel to the floor. Uh, we choose going to the one side and then uh, to that side we point the toes. And then we bend down. Okay. Uh, a little bit by little bit we do and then we turn to the other side parallel and down just find a very very comfortable position for you you can go lower higher as you wish okay this is very well in between we rest and uh, try to relax the muscles that were engaged in this work then for the tree pose, this will be for the balance, it is good to find a point that is in front of you and that is not moving because one, uh, so we put on the inner thigh or lower or higher as you wish and we put the hands in prayer position and hold it for a moment. If you can close your eyes, do it, it's more challenging. Okay, and then we switch. You, of course, can have a rest again. Find the pose, find the point, and keep the balance. Very well. So that would be all for the standing position. And the next pose will be twist pose. We'll do twist to the one side and to the other, like usual. And one of the versions to do it is 
uh, to bend the, the knee and put the other feet uh, across. And then uh, turn to the other side of the, to the side where the over leg is. So, and this is a very nice twist. Keep it for a while and relax and then we switch the sides. Again, we cross one leg, put the other across and go to the side of the one that is above. And this is very beneficial for your spine. Just be careful and find the best twist. Now we are ready for inverted pose or the upside down pose. Uh, many different versions again. Uh, I'll show you the simple one. So we lay on the back, knees bent, find good position and lift your feet up. You can stay in this position or if you feel stronger, you can go up And stand on your shoulders. Just be very, very careful. Okay. You get the idea about the inverted pose. One of the poses we do during a yoga class is a power pose. It is more challenging and the challenge is different for every person. Uh, if I'm feeling a little bit stiff in my legs, then today I'll be doing something like a frog pose uh, and we'll be stretching it. This will be my power pose today, but of course it can be different for each person. When we have all the set with the balance poses, with the bending to the right and left, always twisting, uh, bending forward and backward, uh, finding also our power poses and favorite poses, what we do is we rest. And this happens very easily. We go on the back and straighten up. Relax everything and completely. Close your eyes. And just try to feel how your body is feeling now after a good workout. Thank your body for the good work done. Appreciate it and relax. You can spend in this pose 5 or 10 minutes or just a moment, but just point the end of the practice. When it's done, it's done and you have completed your yoga set. Thank you very much and I see you in the next yoga class. Sorry, it's not the end yet. So you have to take your yoga mats and let's repeat which poses we had today. So first you get in the mood and focus. Then you do some balance pose like we did the tree pose. You do the standing or the seating uh, bends to the right and left. We had a triangle pose. Then you can have uh, a child pose. Remember, sitting down and going down. Then we can have a small cobra or crocodile pose for the back bend. What else? Some power poses and some twisting as well as inverted poses. So get ready because listening is good, watching is good, but you have to do the action. Thumbs up.